people what up what's good welcome back to the channel man we got a brand new season of marvel snap you guys it's a lot in this patch man we gonna be looking at the spotlight caches you know all five new cars we gonna looking at be looking at this balance patch and we're gonna be looking at the series drops man i'm gonna try to keep this as brief as possible i already kind of went over everything on stream but this is for y'all who didn't get to catch the stream so y'all leave y'all leave likes man let's get to 20 likes and let me guess, get straight uh get straight started with gilgamesh man so gilgamesh is the season pass card his ability is on reveal plus one power for each of your other cards in play with increased power and his stats are five costs and seven power without all the uh buffs right so you know we kind of talked this about this a little bit on stream i feel like the best way or a way that i think is going to be really effective to use gilgamesh is like you do um anything with patriot or blue marvel right so let's say you super giant turn four gilgamesh turn five blue marvel on turn six boost your whole boost your whole setup and then you got a very strong gilgamesh obviously with patriot you could put down your brew your absorbing man you put your put down your blue marvel on turn five and then you put down your um you know you know your patriot on turn uh actually that don't even add up but y'all get y'all get what i'm saying man I, I forgot about patriot but you know gilgamesh very interesting and and the reason why i like his ability is because it's very unique man i feel like it's not necessarily catered for one deck although you can definitely use it in the ways that i just said but you know it's i feel like a lot of these cards you know that we're going to be looking at a lot of their abilities are very versatile they might not be the best thing or they might be the best thing we gonna find out this season it might not be the best thing to use on one deck or another but you can use them on a a large variety of different decks man so that's what i got for you guys about gilgamesh the season pass card as far as whether i think he's worth the purchase or not i mean that's up to you but you know what i'm saying that's good to me <laughs> that's worth that 10 to me man but let's go on to Athena so this is the first week's card man so her ability is after each turn excuse me up plus three power if you played exactly two cards so Athena two costs one power is ridiculous man you, you if you and here's why you look at all the two cost cards outside of Angela none of them can really ever get over 10 power but here's the thing you guys use two cars on turn three you got a four power athena use two cars on turn four you got a seven you know what i'm saying and here's the thing you're going to be using her with angela you know you're going to be using her with this new thanos we're going to talk about it later but angela you know you got your kitty pride your hope summers you just play two cars behind you know that lane you boost her you boost angela you get your ex it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot man it's gonna be it's definitely gonna be a lot i think this card is gonna be fantastic man i'm excited to get started playing this season y'all i know I, i'm uh, making this a little bit few hours into the season but y'all I, I, I really think very highly of this card y'all let me know what y'all think of her bro i would definitely pull for her if if but here's it man it's every card is good great in my opinion so it's gonna be very hard for me to determine who i try to pull um this season but we just gonna move on to cersei cersei y'all know i don't know these names right bro but she's five cost seven power and her ability is on reveal transform your other cards here into random cards that cost one more even though it's random y'all this this is i mean this is just good right like this is literally just good the only way i can see this being you know potentially bad is if like let's say you you have a two cost card down you transform it with her it turns into the green goblin and for some reason her ability doesn't activate the green goblin so that means that it doesn't flip over or you accidentally transform one of your five cost cards into blob but then again if you transform into five cost card that means you played her on turn six meaning that the blob is just gonna get all the so it's it's really good even though it's random it's basically what i'm trying to say y'all for the most part everything that is a tier above um like the one the two cost cards are a tier above the ones the threes are a tier above the two everything that's a tier above 
the the previous cause for the most part is stronger obviously there's exceptions like typhoid mary and stuff like that you know being stronger than a lot of the five cost cards but this i mean this is just great right i i i kind of talked about this on stream a little bit i definitely see myself um if i get her being uh running her alongside a car like mockingbird you know what i mean because you're going to transform those other cards into cards that um you know that you didn't start with in your deck right you could definitely throw her on the meal deck as well you take all their stuff with baron zemo you know what i'm saying um who else you know the just all the meal deck cable baron zemo you take their stuff and then you replace their stuff with some even stronger cards right so i mean you know we got Thena, sick card probably broken i don't know i'm going to find out cersei another like this i mean this is just great bro like all three of these cards are very good and they're not their their abilities are not specific in the way that you have to run them on a certain archetype right like it's not destroy anything it's not you know discard right you don't have to run them on a specific thing you can throw them on anything and they will work and that's that's what i really like about this man but up next we got makari man why they be doing my queens like this bro <laughs> why they why they why don't why they don't show look why second dinner th those boys don't show love to my black queens man so let's read it right three calls three power after this turn runs from your hand to a random location but in all seriousness y'all this is actually a pretty decent ability it's it's kind of like angel in baku um you know black cat it, it it gives me that type of vibe right you don't play it so you you don't even have to play her it's basically just a free three points right excuse me y'all my bad and it, and it can be um you know very useful for those games where it says cards can't be played here she might fly out of your hand into that spot that random location right so obviously it is random so it's not gonna work in your favor every time but i just like i like it man i like it you know you can throw this really on anything but for the most part you're probably just going to be using her on a silver surfer for the simple fact that um she's going to be especially good on that deck because one she's a three cost card silver surfer three cost i mean that's a no-brainer but two you know for for the most part turn one and turn two you're not really able to play anything but with her, you know, at least you get three points um, within those turns if she's in your hand at that point. I think she's pretty good. Is she as good as these three that we just looked at? Probably not, but I like it. You know what I'm saying? I like it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Because up next, we got Big Face Dose. <laughs> Big Face Dose, y'all. Three, another three cost, three power. But this one is way better, man. Look at this. Look at this ability, bro on reveal give e give each give each card in your deck negative one cost so minus one cost or plus two power what why like you guys so in in the stream i did a little bit earlier um i i kind of heard that some people were 50 50 about this card like is it good is it bad I don't understand how it can be bad because it only does good things for you obviously if you if you're up against a mobius the negative one cost isn't going to do anything but i mean it's still like america chavez you're still getting plus two but not only for one card it's everything that you didn't pull right so you play them on turn three that's fantastic but you don't even really need them on turn you just you really just need them before turn six right because even on turn five you can benefit from pulling that last card at a discount or at a slightly stronger power right so you know i i the more i look at these cards man the the harder it is for me to tell who's the best out of them you know i, I kind of was leaning towards uh face those on on stream but you know just explaining cersei the way i did cersei cersei and thena bro I mean, I don't I don't think you can really go wrong pulling any of these, to be honest with y'all. But here's here's somebody who you can go, go wrong pulling. And I can't pronounce his name either. We call them Big Among Us because you look at the A. <laughs> that look like one of the crewmates from Among Us, man. So we got I'm, I'm not even I'm going to just call him Big A. We got Big A. Seven costs. This is 
and before we even look at his ability this is actually also great for her because now you're able to transform your six cost cards into him because i'm pretty sure he's the first seven cost card and so that's going to be good for cersei because let's say you had um you, you threw her on like a, a ramp deck or whatever you had leader out you know what i'm saying you had arnim zola out somebody like that one of the weaker six cost cards you're now going to be able to transform into him um for that guarantee extra few points of power right but his ability is at the start of the game plus one max energy and shuffle 12 cards into your deck cool ability i like it you know but unfortunately here's i i i can really only see myself using this card on like a loki deck and obviously you must you must have quinjet you must have loki right but um let's say you guys let's say one of y'all you're, you're using you're using big a and you see Korg turn one leave <laughs> <laughs> you see Cor you see Korg turn one leave bro this i never seen a card that loses so hard to dark hulk right and, and and i mean that's fine you know what i'm saying that's fine but you know you never you, you will never be the dark hulk deck i'm gonna i'm gonna let you know that right now <laughs> using this dude but this is fun man these 12 random cards you get the extra energy right you might be able to cook you know what i'm saying so yeah that's all that's it for the new cards y'all like i said i kind of got to speed through because we have a lot to talk about man and so we're going to talk about the balance update up next so all they really did was change uh thanos infinity infinity stones man so as we can see we got five of the uh of the six stones right here they kept the power stone the same y'all know what it was once you play all six you get your thanos um at 20 power basically but let's take a look at these new stones they changed the mind stone to draw two stones from your deck they kind of nerfed the reality stone because you're not able to draw another card but you still get the location change with it the soul stone they completely changed this right so now the the ability is on reveal draw a card and ongoing thanos can be discarded or destroyed right that's that's very big the space stone they also completely changed and it says it's on reveal draw a card and ongoing nothing can stop you from playing or moving thanos and last but not least they buffed the time stone so it's it's not just the next turn um discount on thanos right so what it looks like to me is they really want you using thanos right they really want you using him instead of you know the way the way how um he was used before was you really just rely on the 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 infinity stones to be able to run like a different type of type of archetype because they benefited you know for the most part every card on your deck rather than being made to specifically benefit thanos how do i feel about that it might be a little bit worse but i i do feel like thanos as an individual card gets extremely bet uh, uh, gets a lot better right because because of these this new soul and space stone right you get your you get your thanos out on turn five for 20 power let's say if you were able to play every stone taskmaster 2020 you know what i'm saying you know but I, obviously you're going to be facing off against the same issues that you were um with the stones is that they can all be destroyed or for the most part they can be destroyed by killmonger the mind stone can't anymore and the the abilities can still be canceled out uh by cards like rogue and enchantress you know so but I, I i do like it because they make thanos as an individual a lot better and you can still run them um you can still use it outside of uh just thanos himself right like even though they they're more tailored towards him you can still run your your thanos destroyed deck um your ongoing deck now because you know you have two ongoing stones still or three because i'm forgetting the uh the power stone as well you know something with spectrum stuff like that you know i mean you still be fine bro I, I really like this this is a big deal you know you 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 run thanos and and ours him what is that 20 that's a lot of extra cards basically so now you super lose the dark up <laughs> but that'll definitely be a fun deck to use man and last but not least y'all or actually i gotta talk about the the, the uh spotlight cash schedule last but 
I'm a real quick touch on this and this is the series drops. I think this is a big deal because now you're going to be able to. So I like every card in this except Hercules. Hercules, they could have made free, but it is what it is. You're going to be able to buy all these in the shop for 3K tokens instead of six. And that's big because, I mean, Nebula, I feel like she was still worth the 6K. I feel like this is the best one cost card in the game. But now if you don't have her, you don't got to pay that 6K, man. You just pay your 3K, get your Nebula, scrub everybody out the same way I have have been for, for plenty of seasons at this point, right? And then they dropped, I mean, a lot of the worst, you know, Series 4 cards down to Series 3. But, I mean, they're, I mean, these are still pretty cool, man. You got Echo. I really like Echo. Mirage is all right. Silver Samurai is all right. And then, you know, I really don't believe in Howard the Duck or Martyr. But I mean, just being able to get five more cards for free is a very big deal, man. You know, it's a very big deal. And all those other cards for cheap. And so, y'all, the last thing I'm going to talk about, man, is the is these, these caches, bro. Because, you know, we just looked at all five new cards. Obviously, you have to pay for Gilga or all six new cards. Obviously, you had to pay for Gilgamesh. But each of these five different cards, you know, you're going to have you're going to have a decision to make, man, about when you're going to spend your keys. And, and it's not it's not a very easy decision to make, because here's the thing. I think all of these are great cards, you know, just looking at them individually, not even looking at the others. But. You know, if you do look at the others, let's say Makari is the weakest of the new five. Gladiator and X-23 are probably the strongest combination, you know, out of uh, cards that you can get from the cash, you know, um, for for. I think like this is just a very strong week is what I'm trying to say. Obviously, Spider-Ham and Corvus might be just as good i'm 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 gonna try to spend my stuff on this week right here even though i already have spider ham and corvus it's just because i really think face those is a is a sick and very good card man but um i mean yeah y'all you know if you if you don't got like 16 keys you you know y'all you gonna have a decision to make man do you do you try to get lucky do you do you want modok modok i mean this first week is very good right this is okay you know what i mean this is good this is good this is arguably bad you know so i mean it, it's, it's gonna be tough for y'all but you know that's that's this update this new season man we talked about a lot of different things y'all let me know what you're most interested in what you agree with me on disagree with me on because i'm done with this video man so as always y'all be sure to like comment and subscribe we're on the road to 2k subs i appreciate you guys for watching and i'll see y'all next time Thank you.